Aloha Vandals! I'm Chris and here is the list. The V-List. In today's episode we'll check out the Italian duo Strato and Dugosis, Storor, Banksy, IMDDB, Georgia Smith, Sir Bruce Lee and Bob Marley. Andale! Banksy honors Black Lives Matter with his latest work. The somber yet striking painting is accompanied by a statement from its reclusive artist. The mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, announced a review of all statues connected to slavery. Where your talents and needs of the world cross, there lies your vocation. Striking portraits by artist Tony Chapman are embellished with gold garments and ornate backdrops. In The Redemption, the photography-based artist celebrates the beauty of black hair through a series of arresting portraits superimposed with 24 karat gold flourishes, technique inspired by the famous Austrian artist Gustav Klimt. The Italian duo Strato and Lugo like to push the graffiti envelope with color and humor. On the same note, their approach to their cartoonish tattoos, sprinkled with a dose of humor and a bit of message, have made them kings all around Europe. Some refer to Luca Lugosis as the enfant perdu, and the tattoo on his face makes it clear. No wonder. Chris Strato also sports some facial ink, making them one of the most recognizable tattoo bros in the biz. The cartoons they draw may seem childish and playful, but you might want to take a closer look. Inspired by different characters, either the weirdos or the misfits, the artists recognize beauty in the unusual. Lugosis also collaborated with various streetwear brands, including Nike. Persian cartoonist Alireza Karimi Mogadam shares his admiration for Vincent van Gogh in an ongoing comic series starring the post-impressionist painter. His colorful illustrations tell the story of the iconic artist's turbulent life and the artwork he produced during his short career. Swedish painter Gunnel Mohim captures the charm of Stockholm. Each abstract piece features hazy, dreamlike depictions of her scenes in delicate washes of color. Helena Metaferia describes her series by way of revolution as urgent. Her works are composed of mixed media colleges, specifically images of historical activism arranged as crowns on women of color, in which she deconstructed historical protest gestures in an effort to heal trauma stored in the body. A bold Black Lives Matter statement transforms the street. On Friday, June 5, the statement appeared on the 16th Street in DC, applied with permanent street paint. Activists added to the original street mural by adding, defund the police. Did you ever thought how it is to be stuck in rainy London and be in love with parkour? These guys are taking it to the next level. No, this is what we're dealing with when we can't travel. We have to make videos and rely on English weather. It's just... Get us out of England, please. Get us out of England. In a situation like this, all I can do is rain dance. Literally, all you can do is rain dance. If we didn't surf the internet enough, Surflakes is the world's largest wave pool and uses five wave technology to create up to 10 waves at a time, from beginners to pros. IMDDB shares a new song about embracing love in Quarantine, a sultry slow jam carried by trap beats that celebrates giving in to love. You wanna give it to me, yeah. You wanna give it to me, You wanna give it to me, yeah. Georgia Smith covers Saint-Germain's Rosé Rouge from the upcoming 
Blue Note Reimagined, a compilation coming out this September that incorporates history's finest jazz tracks. Cypher keeps moving like a rolling stone. I want you to get together. delivers an emotional cover of the Ida Brothers, Footsteps in the Dark. Listen to Gorilla's new single featuring Octavian. The London based model Mana shares her debut single and video for Sundress. Flatbush Zombies share their new EP and announce Charity March Line. Let's just light up with Herb. Rosa salutes Bruce Lee with new song Be Like Water. So why you gotta fight against him and he gotta fight against none? Be like water, water courses over every border from the mud of the Yangtze River to the sand beaches of Florida. Speaking of water and Bruce Lee, ESPN's new documentary about the legend is a must watch right now. My last name is Lee, Bruce Lee. Yeah, Marvel is cool, but like, this guy was the real superhero. Be formless, shapeless. Like water. The water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Bob Marley's Live at the Rainbow will be streamed on YouTube for the first time. An initiative meant to raise funds for the Spotify COVID-19 Music Relief Project. That's a wrap for today. Till next time, be sure to watch the full stories on The Vandalist yeah, and hear everything on V-Sound. My name is Chris, they call us Vandals, we meet online. Oh.